advice, just head on over to Super Talk TV. And when you think of camp, you usually think about the summer, but the fall is also a perfect time to get away, particularly with the family. And today we're going to learn about a camp called Camp Good Hope that is up to some good things. Mary Amna Young is joining us as the founder to tell us a little bit more. Hey, Miss Young. Hello. How are you doing today? Doing well? Very good. Yeah, not complaining with this weather that we're having. No, never. <laughs> never. Okay, so you you helped found Camp Good Hope. So give us a little background about the mission or, or the purpose of the camp. Um, the purpose of the camp, it's, it's a grief camp for children. Adults are also present, their, their caregiver, guardian, parent, you know, whoever is looking after them. Um, and I wanted to get some children together who sometimes don't have a voice or they don't feel like they have a voice, um, to be to be able to just realize they're not alone. This, by the way, is a fun camp. There is no accounting or anything on that order. It's activities like you would expect at any camp. So it's a good time. It's a way to get away, but connect maybe with children your own age that have gone through uh, life circumstances that maybe are unfortunate when it comes to losing a loved one. Would that be fair? That would be fair. So this is really neat. This is you find all different kind of camps for maybe kids who are going through same physical um, ailments or maybe cancer or something of that nature, but never when it comes to actual grief. So, Miss Young, what what inspired you to do this? Well, I, I guess it would be uh, more than likely it would be my daughter. She uh, she had cancer and she died at age thirty six uh, about three and a half years ago. And she left behind, unfortunately, three babies. I think they were like five, four, and two at the time. And I just watched them and what they were going through and the questions they have. You know, they're different from adult questions, but they they need to be heard. So that, hopefully, as they mature, they will know better how to deal with grief. And it, it's something we all go through. If we live long enough and love, we're going to have grief. So I, I certainly don't have the answers. Uh, I'm not saying there's a right way or wrong way, but I do think it's important to talk and realize you're not alone. Because with grief, I think everybody feels some aloneness with it. That's even though you know, even though you know, a lot of people are dealing with it. And children deal with things differently, for sure, but they also process things um, differently. So getting them together, giving them fun activities, getting them to open up and have that opportunity to express, I think, you know, will really be helpful. It's good to note, though, that this is for ages, I think, 6 through 17, correct? But correct. you, all, But mm-hmm. they must be accompanied by an adult family member. Why is that part important? That part is very important because, as you know, Rebecca, children will talk. Uh, but they have to be allowed to talk, and they have to be validated. That when they ask a question that might seem kind of pointless to an adult, or like, you know, don't worry about it, or, or it's going to be okay and all that, that sort of invalidates them. Because they may not be feeling like they're going to be okay, you know? So, um, and, and I think a lot of it is they will follow suit with the adult. If the adult talks about it, they're more comfortable talking about it. And I've seen people that have gone through childhood grief, and they get to be 40-something years old, and they fall apart, and they wonder what happened. Well, they never either weren't allowed, you know, to express themselves, sweep it under the rug, you know, the elephant in the room, all those kind of things, uh, or just never really processed it in a healthy way, I guess. Well, it could also be good, too, for the adult to come along with the child 6 to 17 who may not know how to provide that space, right? Sometimes adults just really aren't good at, oh, yeah. you know, at the process kind of, either. We're all, right, we're all kind of lost with it. But this is uh, Camp Good Hope. So to remind folks, it's not, it's, it's not necessarily like a sad therapy process in camp. It's intertwined in the great outdoors, which if there's anything that can oh, yeah. crack you open and to get you wanting to, you know, sort of dig a little deeper, it's by connecting with nature. So, Ms. Young, where is where's the camp at and when is it? Okay. Uh, the camp is at Camp Hopel, 
which is a Presbyterian camp right outside of Oxford. It's been around, I think, since the late 40s, actually. It's a great camp. Uh, and it is October the 20th, which is a Friday. It is a one-night stay, and it will be over, like, late afternoon on Saturday the 21st. And this is crazy. The cost is free. How did you swing that, Miss Young? Well, you, <laughs> it just, you know, private money. You know, there, there, there are people that want to see this happen. It, it's, a, it's kind of an odd thing, you know, when you think about it. Grief camp. <laughs> so, um, but then more people thought about it. They thought, God, you know, this is really needed. This is really needed. Is this the and first you know, year of the camp? About, is this the first year? Or have y'all done this before, Ms. Young? No, no. This is the first year. Uh, I had wanted to do it earlier, but that thing called COVID got in the way for several years. And so the camp itself was shut down. So when do people need to sign up by? Uh, actually, it's, the deadline has passed. Oh. Uh, but if, if I, you know, if I were to get one or two today, it's, it's working it out with the camp, you know, the host, as far as Camp Hopewell goes, because they have to get food prepared and bedding and, you know, just whatever all they have to do to get, get ready. And they'll, they'll, have a, they'll have some staff there as well. And like, we'll have canoeing and kayaking, for instance. Well, obviously, they have to have water, uh, people that are certified for water sports there. Miss Young, if you've got families listening and it connects, and maybe, you know, even though it's not an option for them to be able to do in this camp, are there resources or things that you can you um, connect people with that may be a great place to go if they're if they're trying to start to work through grief within the home? Um, gosh, I don't know, unless there's some really good counselors out there, and there are some, that's their specialty, is grief. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it, it, it's kind of tricky dealing with grief. It because it's so, it's so all over the place. But it is something that we all definitely go through, as you we mentioned. We do, and, and, you know, three and a half years later, since, uh, my daughter died, I mean, I, you know, I'll just be riding down the street, and I'll see something, and it'll trigger something. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And you kind of go, well, what was that all about? And then you realize, and then it's okay. Once you realize, then it's okay. Will your you grandchildren be at Camp Good Hope this year? What now? Will your grandchildren be at camp this they year? They will. They will. And so will their dad. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, really excited. So, I'm excited for too. you, Miss Young, to sort of see this come to fruition, to have the opportunity to watch families be able to start the healing journey and the, and the process. If this is a hit, do you think you'll have more in the upcoming either years or spring? Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm anxious to see where it goes, actually. Where can, um, where can people go to get more information about the camp? Um, gosh. I mean, I've got some flyers. I've got an email. They can email me, and I can send them some information. Uh, it's campgoodhope at gmail dot com. Okay. Good. Deal. Um, and I and I want to thank y'all because <laughs> with all the news that we hear every day, we're just bombarded with it. It's nice to have something like good things. I listen to you almost every day. Well, I appreciate that, and I think yeah. it's great to have something like Camp Good Hope. You are finding a niche that families struggle with, so many listening. I mean, everyone has battled with grief of some capacity, and if it's not today, it's coming, so you better get ready for it. And we should be better prepared on how to at least help our children process and deal with it. You're right. You will you will wake up 10 or 20 years later and, and reap the effects if you haven't processed it correctly. So you've brought up a good thing. Yeah, I'm certainly hoping so. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I hope y'all have the best time, perfect weather. Make a s'more for me if you guys do that around the campfire. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. we're having s'mores. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you let us know anytime, Ms. Young, if y'all have another one. You're welcome back, okay? Oh, thank you so much, Rebecca. I appreciate you having me. All righty, you guys stick. Uh huh. You guys right. stick with us. We are. We got more for you coming up next.